hi there, and welcome back to Route 4, again, yeah. Uh, this is the White 2 version of Route 4, and as you can see, it is very sandy and stuff. Uh, if you did not watch part, I think it was 17, the Black 2 version, you might want to watch that, uh, just because it explains the stuff before you walk the Route 4, and it explains the wild Pokemon. Um, but anyways, this is Route 4 in the Way 2 version. Now keep in mind, this is an alternate copy of my game. This is not my walkthrough file, and uh, I have different Pokemon on here and stuff. So just keep that in mind when you're watching the battle so you're not like, hey, what's that Pokemon? Um, and there's a lot of different battles on this route. Actually, there's a lot more battles. I, I really feel bad for you if you have White 2, because I think White 2's version of Route 4 is lame and stupid. Also, keep in mind, constant sandstorm. That deals 1 16th of damage to any Pokemon that's not rock, ground, or steel. I think those are the three types. Anyways, heading on over here, there is a Pokemon breeder just like in Black 2. Uh, I think the Pokemon are different though. Uh, let's see. If we head over here, you can pick up the Mystic Water. And, of course, there's two fishermen to fight. Uh, if you have watched the Black 2 version of this route, this is obviously going to have parts of it that are familiar. Um, because there are very, there are similarities between the two routes. Um, also, if you're wondering, yes, my Pokemon are a bit imbalanced with leveling. My Pignite is way ahead of my other Pokemon in levels. Sandstorms are awful. I'm tired. I feel like I'm always tired. No matter how much sleep I get, I'm always tired. It truly is a shame. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. The next battle is with Chorus. Now, if you want the details of that battle, watch the Black Tooth. Part 17. I probably should actually confirm that that's the right part. <laughs> um, let me pull it up. 
Yeah, part 17, okay. I just wanted to make sure I was giving you right information there. So if you want the exact details of the battle with Chorus, watch part 17. I am kind of trying to make this part as quick as possible because some of this is repeat. Um, Chorus uses a Magnemite and a Clink. Level 21 and 23. And the cutscene here is relatively the same, and he gives you a protein for beating him. So I'm going to speed up the battle with him, just for the sake of time. Yeah! I'm going to point my finger at you, and I'm going to feel good about it. I will remember that name when I take over the world! <laughs> Blended. It'll give you a protein and onward on our journey. Anyways, Route 4, in case you haven't figured out, this is like the alternate history version of Route 4. Like, what if we decided not to industrialize the route and instead find precious ruins and protect them. That's basically what this route has become. Now, a lot of these buildings house people that, well, they're more like ruins. They house people that you should recognize from Black 2 if you watched that part, because all of the people that don't fight are generally the same. Uh, this lady will give you a polka toy if you correctly identify what sound she mimics from one of your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you could do that once a day. And then if you head up here, there is a rich boy. My gorgeous Pokemon, and I have come to frolic about Relic Castle. Here, take a look. Rich boy. Um, there's twins we can fight over here. That's always a fun experience. I am shunned of the what? <laughs> Ruin! Ruin! <laughs> Okay, I get it. I was derping. <laughs> I don't understand this childish speak. Uh, there is a red shard right here that I forgot about. And... I'm gonna head over this way. Um... Oh, she doesn't fight if I make it over here. I can grab some stardust down here. And then we can fight. The lady. You there. I've become bored. I don't know why I'm imagining all these rich people with proper accents.
don't know why I feel the need to mimic people with, that seem like they'd have a proper accent, especially since I don't have a good mimicking accent. Uh, TM28 Dig is up here. I mentioned this in the black two parts. Dig is a very good uh, TM for this point in the game. Um, and I would highly recommend you look at your Pokemon, see if any of them can learn it, because it might be a good teach to some of them. I have an Umbreon I'm going to teach it to for the same reasons I taught it to my Espeon. Um, because honestly, Dig is more useful than Sand Attack. And somebody also told me this because I complained in the last part how the TMs aren't sorted by a uh, numerical order. There actually is a sorting option for it, but that shows how much I pay attention to the menu screen. So for whoever mentioned that, there was a couple people who mentioned that. Thank you for pointing out my stupidity. Uh, keep in mind, people, I am not perfect. I'm derpy and forget things sometimes. I don't know everything. There's a lot of... There's a lot of information to know about a Pokemon game. Now, in this game, uh, unlike uh, Black 2, White 2, you talk to the other guy and he'll give you an attack wing if you have the attack stat that he requests, or he'll give you five if you match it. Uh, not, not an attack wing, um, a swift wing. And the other lady will just talk about speed this time. So uh, I explained the wing thing in part 18, if you were curious. Um, in this house, sandstorms are terrible. Yes, they truly are terrible. This guy will trade a patilla for a cottony. So it's basically the opposite of in black two. So if for whatever reason you want a cottony, then I recommend you catch a patilly and trade it over. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking and I'm just not making any sense. And I, I normally feel like that and then I go back and edit and it's like, oh, I sound like I'm making sense. Why did I feel like I wasn't making sense? Um, I need my dowsing machine on, because that would be a good idea. Um, I think over here, in this house, you can heal your Pokemon. I want to say it's this house. Yes, it is this house. And healing up your Pokemon is probably a smart idea. You're going to take a lot more damage in the white two route than the black two route, just because of the sandstorm. Because sandstorms are stupid! Up here, you can grab yourself a green shard, and then we can fight this dude right here. Well, I guess this lady or whatever. Hee <laughs> hee. I think somewhere around here you can grab yourself a light clay. Now, I forget the exact location of it because I don't really play this version. Um, there is supposed to be a bravery around here on Mondays. And I explained this in part 18 when I talked about Mandibuzz. Bravery is the alternate version for White 2. It's a normal flying type Pokemon and it can be found on this route on Mondays. It's level 25, and it already is the evolved form of whatever its pre-evolution is. Is it like Rufflet or something? I forget. I don't 
remember its exact name. Um, but uh, just a brief summary of Bravery if you're playing late too. Uh, it is a really good Pokemon, and since you get it with its full evolution early and you don't get it late game like in white and black, it is a very solid choice. It also has a decent ability, uh, Defiant, which raises its attack by two stages if its stats are lowered by a foe's attack. Um, it's a really decent move, so like... Especially in the game where trainers will constantly use stupid moves that lower your stats. So, uh, Bravery is definitely something to consider picking up. Um, keep in the back of your mind if you're looking for a normal or flying type Pokemon, because it is a pretty solid choice. I would rate, uh, I would recommend it, or at, le at least a consideration if you're still in search of those types. You can grab yourself a Yellow Shard here. And then there's a building here. I'm trying to remember what's in it. Um, lots of people. Every mo Monday, Pokemon fly. That's your reference to the Pokemon. This guy will give you some citrus berries, three of them to be exact. Uh, Semi-useful at this point in the game, but they'll quickly become obsolete as you get stronger. Do, 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 do. And back outside, we can fight this guy over here. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up the route, to be honest. I think I covered everything. Um, I do have one more hidden item I'm apparently missing. Um, a Stardust right there. And... I think I covered everything in this general area. Oh, another hidden item. Hyper Potion! So many hidden items in this desert. You could head up this set of steps over here, and there is a backpacker here that we can fight. And of course, this way leads up to um, trainer tips, PowerPoints. This way leads up to Join Avenue. That would be the correct way forward to advance through the game. Of course, we're going to take a detour and go to the Desert Resort. My black two-part also joins up at this point, so... Um, this stuff from here on out is all the same. There is no difference between the two versions of the game. So I will be going back to my Black 2 copy of the game. Uh, I kind of rushed through this route because this was just something alternate to show for those of you who have White 2. Um, so I'm probably going to end up splitting this part because this was a pretty long video again. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you and good night.